Hey Riders, today we're going to check out the new Black Panther 2 Wakanda Forever trailer, a tribute to Chadwick Boseman, Wakanda, Wakanda Forever. Forever. So come join us in the ride here in The, the Passenger, passenger seat. seat. Welcome back, riders, to another week in the passenger seat. Like Carlos said, we're gonna be checking out the uh, Wakanda Forever trailer. Um, so Carlos has seen it, I haven't. So this is my chance to react to the trailer. I'm super excited. I love the first Black Panther movie, and uh, I, I, you know, I have high hopes for this one. I mean, R.I.P. Chad, right? Uh, yeah. I think I think he put. Um, African American superheroes in the forefront of of like what we come to know because superhero movies are so uh, cut and dry the same the same old thing you know and I think Black Panther was the first movie to really introduce uh, the different sort of culture and stuff into these types of movies I may be totally wrong but at least it's the first one that really made an impact I want to say in in that sort of scene. I do agree with you at that standpoint. I mean, I know there was Blade and he was African American, but the fact of Black Panther and the, the director being black and, and the, you know, Tadwick Boseman portraying the way he did. And the music. And the music, it really brought like a forefront that now anybody could be a superhero, you know? Like inclusivity, let's just keep doing that. Yeah, nice. yeah. Uh, and, and yeah, and then all the, the movies that continued with that trend uh, from there on out have been amazing because all these other cultures have something to offer. And I think mm-hmm. it's imper- I, I think it's, it's very important to keep that all in there. You know, you have to include all the all the other things that people may not know about, man. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, shout out to, to Miles Morales, Puerto Rican, Boricua, uh, yeah. movie, you yeah, know how it goes. Um, <laughs> Alright, so before we hop into the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Always helps our channel out. Really appreciate it. Hey. Hey, that's what's up. Uh, so, so good, man. The visuals are amazing. I don't know why it gives me a lot of like Afro-Caribbean feels. Oh yeah. I like it. Damn, yo, that's what's up. They're riding <laughs> the whales. That's crazy. That's pretty sick. Uh, goosebumps. Yeah, the music, dude. Okay, so wait, wait. Let me let me roll back on the trailer real quick. What were they oh, fighting? Right, right, right. What, were, what were they fighting at the very end? Was that like Avatar, uh, Way of Water, whatever? Was he they're fighting avatars? Oh yes. Uh, <laughs> when, we'll talk about that in a second. Hey, hey, is there something after the? There's not. Oh, November. <laughs> Uh, Woo, November. Jeez. I gotta know. I got. I gotta know what you think. 
I gotta know what you think, because I had goosebumps when I saw the trailer for the first time. All right, so I like I like the uh, the music was crazy. Uh, of course, uh, shout out to Bob Marley. And then when Kendrick came in, that oof, I mean, don't oh, I I, I'm not discrediting at all. Yo, that woman's voice at the beginning, I don't know who that is, but her voice is like silk, bro. It's crazy. And the visuals were amazing. Um, I mentioned that I got a lot of Afro-Caribbean vibes from that. Um, just with the beaches and with sort of the flow that they were going in and, and the dress and everything. It was like, like it was crazy. And um, it's funny because when they were wearing like that, the white garments and everything and they were doing their dance, yeah. that reminded me of La Bomba. And, yeah. and for y'all that don't know, uh, La Bomba is something that is from Puerto Rico. Uh, it does have roots, uh, like African roots. And it is, you know, it's, it's, it, it gives you, it stirs up emotion whenever you hear it. And I feel like this is the same. I saw it, I was getting like hyped up and I, I, I don't know, man, I'm really hyped for this movie. I just, yeah. you, you know, and not just cause it's, it's not just cause it's Black Panther. Um, and just because the first one was so great, but you know MC what MCU brings to the table. And their movies yeah. are rarely, if never, off the mark. Oh. I'm really hyped up for, for the movie, and uh, I can't wait. Everything looks great, and so much to so I'm, expect I'm, there. Uh, I'm going to explain a little bit of stuff for the people who are new to Marvel and don't understand some of the characters or the things that are going on in this trailer beyond what you see. Uh, first... The thing you mentioned is actually an African funeral dance. Um, his sister was actually holding the Black Panther helmet during that funeral scene. Obviously, we know what that's about. I don't know how they're going to play it off. I mean, rest in peace to him, but obviously the character needs to find a way to, you know, I don't know what route they're going to go to where he's right, going right, to end right, up right. dying. But um, they're actually fighting against Atlanteans. So these are the MC, the Marvel's version of Atlanteans. Uh, you know, you got Aquaman on DC. And the king of the Atlanteans is actually Namor, Namor. Uh, who mm -hmm. in, you see he has little wings on his feet. Um, so Namor's uh, just going to throw this in there for all the geeks. Namor is actually one of the first Marvel characters to ever exist. He was in Marvel issue number one. So it's very interesting that they're putting him so late in the game. But fun fact for us and for the rest of the community, the, Atlantean, the Atlanteans are being played by Mayans. Uh, Aztecs, Mexicans, uh, Guatemalans. Um, so the Atlantean culture that they presented that they did not present in the comics is going to be Latin and they're going to speak Spanish. So, you know, the African community, the Latino community, we're going to go to that movie theater, we're going to turn up. Yes, you know, sir. <laughs> you know Ora, how it is. Orale, wait, come, come down here into the ocean, man. Have some beers with me down here in my. <laughs> I so love I was, you, I, I, I was excited. I'm very excited. That that struck a chord to me because it's about time. It's about time. Come on. Uh, the Latin community needs more love in the superhero universe. Um, I, I bet you they and, make, I, I bet you they make some mean fish tacos. <laughs> so, uh, they, you know, you notice their, their wardrobe was very Aztec. It was very, like, you know, old style. I love that. Um, and I guess, well, one of the, one of the best fun facts for us is that half of the movie was filmed in Puerto Rico, which uh, that's yeah, probably where you got that vibe from the Caribbean African thing. <laughs> yeah, boy. You know, the most beautiful yeah. beaches in the world are from boom, boom, boom. Here we go. So I'm very excited for this movie. Uh, and it comes out November 11th. What? Yeah, your birthday. <laughs> My birthday. Uh, shout out to all the veterans as well. <laughs> I feel like this movie is going to be very fantastic. Um, Obviously, I, it's gonna it's gonna break ticket sales. I mean, we're all minorities are so excited to see this. I'm very excited. I love the the inclusion of the whole film that brings obviously the tribute to Chadwick Boseman as well, mm -hmm. because the first movie was so great, and I just I, oh man, I can't wait to see this movie. Yeah, ditto, ditto. Um, uh, so there's not much more to say other than highly anticipated. Um, and yeah, I'm super stoked. So. For all of you watching, make sure to like, comment, subscribe down below. Um, let us know what you think about the teaser trailer. Let us know what you what vibes you got, how excited you are for the movie. Um, and yeah, just overall, just let us know. All right, so uh, as always, thank you for joining us in the ride today, and hopefully you'll join us next time here in... 
the passengers. Go passengers. Seat. 